everyone how are you guys welcome back to more fabrics i'm thanking you guys so much for uh, joining and watching me as i try to make my way through a second junk journal for those who know i'm working on now the anne of green gables junk journal i just first wanted to show you some of the new supplies i got for those who don't know i have absolutely zero supplies when it comes to junk journaling Yes, do I have vintage ephemera? Yes, do I have vintage supplies? But when it comes to things like glue, Mod Podge, paintbrushes, I have nothing. Um, I usually sell you guys uh, things for your journals, but I don't sell like newer products to do things like coffee dye and things like that. And um, so I've been buying supplies and things like that. And so this video here, if you're watching, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and follow along. Um, if you want to know where I'm going with this direction, part of this is an Etsy shop share. As you guys can tell lately, I've been sharing a lot of Etsy shops um, because I've been doing a lot of purchasing and those, you know, I love sharing shops, you know, of course daily deals are coming up. So heads up, we have like a handful of daily deals coming up that you don't want to miss out. Selena, we'll be back doing that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be back doing, I know you guys miss those daily deals. I get mail a lot. Uh, where people are asking, when's the next daily deal? When's the next daily deal? I'll post it, guys. So if you're new and you want to know what a daily deal is, uh, down below is a direct links to the Facebook group where I will post when daily deals are ready to pop up. And then I usually do a video here on YouTube to show you what they are. There's a limited supply and they usually sell out very fast. So you don't want to miss out on that. And plus, if you join the Facebook group, you're able to be part of a community of ladies and some gentlemen um, who like to do crafty things from junk journaling to quilting to crocheting. Um, we have a, our, our, our group is broadening a bit, which is kind of nice to see, uh, especially we have some cross stitchers and um, things like that, which is kind of nice. So I'm glad. So here I'm doing something that's outside my comfort zone. And I thank you guys for being patient, understanding as you're watching along. I am such a baby at this <laughs> and I'm learning. So I do have some stuff here. I have a shop share to share with you guys. I have a friend share. So I have a dear good friend named Kathy Cowell. She is a friend of ours as well in our Facebook group and part of uh, Amore Fabrics. Um, she is a friend and she's my neighbor. So it, October is my birthday month for those who don't know. Um, I don't really shout it off to the rooftops <laughs> and all that. So she had blessed me with this bin of goodies. For those you know and do follow me, I am a huge, huge fan of Anne of Green Gables. And she had bought me an Anne of Green Gables. Sorry if there's a glare because my lights are right above. Um, coffee mug. Look at this, guys. Those you know, I absolutely love coffee. So coffee, tea, all those good stuff, you know, anything warm. And that's going to give me enough caffeine to get through the day. But it's so cute. I will ask her where she got this. And I can put the direct link down below in case somebody wants to grab one as well. She had provided me with fabric, fabric fix tacky glue sweet jesus that's awesome i don't know which is which and i'll figure out which does better <laughs> i'll figure it out she had a, a jelly plate which i don't have the pieces to go with it but now when i do get those stamps i can use this uh, which is so nice distressed inks which i open them up um funny thing is when i went to her house uh we were busy playing around with different ink pads and things like that i had uh, bought a bunch of uh, rubber uh, stamps from a, a live sale, which that'll be a video coming up here soon. I have to tell you about this person. Um, that's another video, but um, she has amazing live sales and the prices are right. And I bought a bunch of rubber stamps and I had zero rubber stamps and now I have a ton of rubber stamps and I can't wait to show you guys. So she got me some inks and then she got these, I mean, I'm not talking just inks. She got me like inks, like, like a whole pile here. I got gold, black, rose. I mean, look at all these. I don't think I need to be buying any ink for a while. And, um, and then there's another pile. So I'm going to be ink crazy and you guys are going to think I am nuts, but <laughs> I'm going to do it. She also got me these. I don't know if anyone's ever seen these before. I don't know what they're called. She told me the name. I I'm sure Kathy, if you're watching this down below, comment in the comment board, this cute case and knees go on your finger. I know you guys are probably like Selena. This is like so old school. <laughs> you should know this by now, Selena. Hey, I deal with vintage supply. <laughs> I don't do new stuff. And um, you dab it in ink and you can 
do it on the ink, the corners of things and, and things like that. So I've been really, those who've been following me, I've been trying to understand how to age newer paper. Like I like vintage paper. I, I love vintage supply and you guys probably get tired of hearing it. So when I got new papers and I'm trying to incorporate the new papers into the journals, it's a uh, rather confusing and I don't know what to do. So she's, she gave me those things, which thank you. Thank you. Thank you, hon. I'm really blessed to have such great, great friends, guys, and a following. And I can't thank you guys enough for the encouragement and inspiration. Second. Okay. Stains by Patty Pocket. I don't know if I'm close enough for you guys. I haven't opened this up yet because of those of you who follow me on Facebook, I got this in the mail yesterday and I went to open it up and I didn't have no paintbrushes. Yes. Selena, of all people, didn't even have one brush. <laughs> So I, this morning at 5 a.m., went to Lowell's first because it was the closest. I could have went to Home Depot, but I went to Lowell's. Got some brushes, some Maj Paj, and um, this, which I don't know if anyone's tried this yet. It's called Ram Board Seam Tape. If you can see that without a glare. What's really cool about it, it what got my attention was the color because my Anne of Green Gables book, which if I could dredge it out of the cabinet right now. Um... This is the book I'm using. You're, be, you're gonna probably be like, oh my goodness, Lana, that is so old looking. What are you doing? Well, you know, I wanted it to be old. Um, this is a spine of a newer 70s version and I wanted it to sort of match that. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna cut this even and then I'm gonna sew these together. But before I do, I was gonna lay them flat put that there, make sure those are even, and take this tape. It's a peel and stick. So it's it's pretty much a seam tape for seaming different pieces, like different, uh, what does it say here? Anyways, I'm gonna experiment, guys, and I like the color, right? Am I like going all over the place here, guys? I don't know how I'm even in, in the middle here. So I'm gonna clean this up, make sure it's measured correctly, tape that down, and I want this to overlap onto this because I want to have, mu have much of this original as possible. Um, and then take my sew machine and run this through with um, like a leather needle and do maybe like a gold, like a gold design. Sorry, my phone is taken off, guys. I hear people like message me. Hey, it's the time of the day where I get all my messages. So I don't know if you guys can see what I mean. And then so this, I'll just have like a pretty gold design. I don't know. That's my goal. I'm going to try to do that and see if that works. And I'll let you guys know about this. So I found that it was a large roll of it. And I love the fact that it was three inch wide. So that's awesome. Brushes. Somebody told me, because I know a lot of people have used uh, the stains by Patty Pockets, which I'm going to link her Etsy shop down below. This is where I bought it. It's an Etsy shop share. And, um, so you guys can grab, I think it's like 10 bucks, but I'm going to try it. But somebody told me it's better to use a sponge brush than it is to use um, a bristle brush because you'll see the lines. So, er, I don't have a sponge brush, but I can look for a sponge around here. I imagine I could raid my husband's workbench for a sponge to wash a car, which I could just take scissors and cut a piece off, right? <laughs> He'll kill me later, right? Um, but anyways, so for the Maj Paj, though, at least, I have, you know, some brushes for that. I can't wait to try that. I'll do a video. I'll probably go live. I'll announce a live, and I'll go live, and I can get your guys' input as I'm going along here. But I'm curious because the stain, I think I can also stain up a little bit um, after I do this. But the liner of this, I'm going to do, oh, gosh, I, I can keep going and going, but I'll quickly show you if I can find it. Um... I always put away my stuff because I got work orders to do and I, I need my space for my table. Ah, here it is. You guys know me. I love my vintage. So I have this, which I'm going to put this in the book too. Look at that beautiful, lovely green. Ah, gorgeous green. This is vintage um, music books and that was the cover for this, but, um, I'm going to use this. This is from 1914. I thought my Zoom's not going nuts. Those. And look how tiny the music notes are, right? So I think my liner, which I hope that stain doesn't leak, guys, is going to be this. 
I'm going to get closest to the bottom of this as possible because I want the copyright of the 1914 to be the inside of this. I'm going to glue that down. I'm guessing I Mod Podge or I Tacky. I'm not sure. So, hey, comment down below, guys, what you suggest how I put this on here. Glue stick it? I don't think glue stick is powerful enough to what I want. Um, I'm thinking Mod Podge. Put it even on there and make sure that's cut perfectly um anyhow so that's where i'm at with that i need to save that page and look how large those pages are oh i'm gonna fold some of those inside here i can't wait all right so there's that so that's whoop there goes a cat um so that's where that is at i did get some of this green roll there as well um, at Lowe's as well. I was pretty impressed. I was hoping to find the pale pink. They have this in pale pink too, because it is the colors of, you know, the vintage mid-century Victorian-ish colors that I want in here. I want the browns. I want the greens. I want the, um, the pinky-ish creams, um, some browns, of course, like the deep browns. So that's my goal. So I'm going to schedule live guys, and then, um, show you all the fabrics I picked out that are mid-century. Um, all the laces and trims that I want to add into this. I am really behind here. What we are halfway through the month and um, <laughs> I'll get there guys. I'll get there. I'm usually like a last minute person when it comes to projects for myself. Um, but when it comes together, it usually works out perfectly well. All right guys, thank you for watching. Big shout out to my dear friend. I can't wait to use this mug. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. If you want to get a mug, if you want to get stains by Patty. Um, and then again, like I said, Lowe's. You know, comment down below any suggestions, guys, about this book. I will figure it out. And I hope I helped give you guys some helpful hints on something new to try for um, binding um, your spines without a whole lot of glue. It's a tape. Peel and stick. All right, guys. You guys have a blessed week. Bye.